Oh, it doesn't really come as a surprise, though, Sharla, given what's happening. No, Leslie, really, it doesn't come as a surprise at all, because after all, we are in the middle of a pandemic. But as you said, the Washington football team making it official today, saying no fans would be allowed to be inside FedEx Field and watch home games in person this season. Now, the team citing the health and safety of its fans and stadium employees as the main reason. The team adding that COVID-19 and this pandemic have been incredibly unpredictable, and it's just not safe to have a stadium packed with thousands of people. Washington isn't alone in not allowing fans. There will be no fans at MetLife Stadium, the home of the Jets and Giants, and no fans allowed at Eagles home games in Philadelphia. Many other teams are still allowing fans, but at 20 or 25 percent stadium capacity. The team has said that the decision to have no fans will be reevaluated if the coronavirus pandemic improves and things grow safer as the season progresses. Now, no word if the Washington football team will pump out fake crowd noise like other sports have been doing. I'm a huge fan of the fake crowd noise at Nats games this year, so hopefully FedEx Field will be able to be just as loud, just courtesy of some great audio tracks, of course. And my other big question is, will we still see those great touchdown celebrations, those touchdown dances? There's no fans in the stands, so who are they dancing for? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, Leslie. They will literally be dancing like no one's watching because no one will be watching <laughs> there. All right.